Got John Ridley here. Tell us about Linda. Oh, um, I had an opportunity to speak with her at one time, and I honestly, I, I don't know that there's any more of an unsung hero in rock and roll. Someone who's so humble, who was so worldly wise at a young age, and you know, I would say, and um, I'm speaking for myself and my own opinion, but I, uh, I don't know that there are probably few other individuals who are more seminal in, in rock history and yet unsung. And I can't say enough about her. I think she's an amazing individual. It inspired a screenplay. Well, in some ways. I mean, uh, there was a song I heard uh, called Sending My Love to Linda by Jimi Hendrix, and it was a, a rarity that's uh, very hard to find. Um, but when you hear it, there's so much power, there's so much emotion in it. Um, you have to ask the question, who is Linda? And when you dig a little bit, when you talk to some people, when you excavate a few things, you find out that there was a really amazing individual who, um, again, really helped change the course of music history. So from a, dire a director's perspective, what was it like working with Andre and bringing the actor out of him? Oh, it, in a lot of ways it was a director's dream. Um, he has a natural charisma, he's patient, um, he's very dedicated to the craft, uh, but at the same time he was very open to working, he was very open to non-traditional methods, and I'm very big on preparation, but at the same time I'm, I'm um, very keyed into natural things that may happen on the set and um, letting the chemistry build in ways that are not about just shot listing or story. Boarding. Um, for someone like that who can do anything he wants uh, in his career right now to take seven and a half, almost eight months out of his life, eight months out of his life to basically go without a paycheck, to work, to take a chance on me. I mean, look, this was before 12 Years a Slave. This was before an Oscar. Uh, to have someone like that show faith in you, um, if this movie works at all, it's because of the work that he put into it. Andre, Imogen, Haley, all of them, they were absolutely phenomenal. In this experience, what surprised you the most? Uh, you know what, there's surprises at every turn. Uh, some of them were wonderful, some of them were challenging. But the thing that really surprised me is you really commit yourself to something. If you really partner with people who see the world the way you see it, um, if you really stay true to the things you believe, um, if you do it for the right reasons, then, you know, nobody really can stop you. Uh, you have an opportunity to tell a story because you're passionate about it, uh, because you're working with partners who are passionate, um, and you believe that you can bring that feeling to an audience. And, I think we're fortunate to be able to do that. You mentioned winning an Oscar. How has Hollywood treated you since winning that Oscar? You know, I've been fortunate. I really have. I've, I've worked a long time, and in that period, I've uh, met people who've supported me and been around me um, through good times and not so good times. So, in some ways, it hasn't changed much, which is really, really good. In other ways, uh, it's changed a lot. And thank you so much. Absolutely. I get myself into things that I'm like, why did I get myself into this? Because sometimes, like in, in the middle of shooting. I had to ask myself, like, how